When information systems are shut down by cyber attacks, the result can be denial of services, such as information and communication services, electrical power supply services, and financial services. In such cases, not only critical infrastructure operators, but also the daily lives of citizens and socioeconomic activities are highly likely to be severely affected. To address these concerns as a basic framework for critical infrastructure protection, the government compiled the Cybersecurity Policy for Critical Infrastructure Protection and has implemented this initiative. Based on this policy, the National Center of Incident Readiness and Strategy for Cybersecurity takes measures in each key policy area, cooperating closely with ministries responsible for critical infrastructure as well as critical infrastructure operators. One of the core measures in the cybersecurity policy is the implementation of cross-sectoral exercises, a series of cybersecurity exercises ongoing since 2006. Cross-sectoral exercises are cybersecurity exercises carried out in one day with the full participation of a wide range of stakeholders for the purpose of enhancing the organizational incident response capability of critical infrastructure operators. Assuming that critical infrastructure services outages will occur, Critical Infrastructure Operators, NISC, Supervising Ministries for Critical Infrastructure, the SEPTAR Secretariat, cybersecurity-related agencies, and other stakeholders verify the actions they should take by considering the situation and sharing information based on their roles. Amid a heightening of awareness of cybersecurity issues, the number of participants in cross-sectoral exercises has been increasing dramatically in recent years. Cross-sectoral exercises consist of three processes, preparation before the exercise, participation in the exercise, and review after the exercise. In the course of preparation before the exercise, each critical infrastructure operator assesses the current status in terms of their incident handling process, takes part in a pre-exercise briefing, and creates detailed scenarios considering their specific circumstances based on the scenarios prepared by NISC regarding service outages caused by cyber attacks. On the day of the exercise, each operator conducts the exercise based on their own scenario arranged in the course of preparations before the exercise, which was set by customizing the scenario NISC provides. Then, the participants engage in the incident response with the goal of facilitating recovery in the event of a cyber attack. The exercise controller delivers events, making use of exercise tools such as message boards and screens at each venue. Each operator conducts the exercise based on their own specific scenario, which was set by customizing the scenario NISC provides, considering their own circumstances. Each operator describes the situation item by item on a whiteboard, confirms current status, and conducts an initial response based on the operator's rules. Each operator carries out required reporting and necessary inquiries. Finally, each operator reviews and evaluates the actions they took on the day of the exercise. On the day of the exercise, each operator summarizes the situation they encountered and the responses they made and submits reports to the Supervising Ministries for Critical Infrastructure and the SEPTAR Secretariat. Upon receipt of the reports from critical infrastructure operators, the supervising ministries summarize the situation in each sector and share information with NISC. In addition, the supervising ministries share advice from NISC on the relevant measures with the SEPTAR Secretariat. Upon receipt of the reports from the supervising ministries, NISC collects and organizes the useful information which is worth providing with the critical infrastructure operators for their measures against cyber attacks and shares the information with the critical infrastructure operators through the supervising ministries. 
Each SEPTAR Secretariat shares advice from NISC with the critical infrastructure operators based on the rules on the handling of information within each SEPTAR. If necessary, the SEPTAR Secretariat shares information with the critical infrastructure operators in its field and the SEPTAR Secretariats in other sectors. In response to inquiries from the critical infrastructure operators, the cybersecurity related agencies share information on how to respond to the various situations with the critical infrastructure operators. In the review after the exercise, the critical infrastructure operators review and evaluate their incident responses on the day of the exercise. Simply participating in the exercise is not enough. It is not even enough to try to respond skillfully to the situation in the exercise. What is important is that critical infrastructure operators understand what approaches they should apply in the course of the incident response. Another important point is to make the most of this knowledge for the purpose of solving the issues found in the exercise. On a later date, the critical infrastructure operators who participated in the exercise have an opportunity to join a brainstorming session. Operators exchange their observations on the day of the exercise, improvement activities they can engage in, difficulties, solutions that were tried and so on. Through this dialogue, operators can gain ideas they can apply in later improvement efforts. Brainstorming sessions also provide an opportunity for people in charge of cybersecurity to network with each other and build relationships that will facilitate the smooth and workable sharing of information. We asked Atsuomi Obayashi, Chair of the Cross-Sectoral Exercises Committee and Professor of the Graduate School of Business Administration at Keio University for his opinion of these exercises. メロタコトを習熟して<笑> なされる、あの、演習というのは で、あるいはその NISC will continue to organize cross-sectoral exercises with a view to enhancing the incident response capabilities of critical infrastructure operators and enhancing cooperation among various stakeholders.